For the IUPAC nomenclature of coordination compounds, you have to follow four steps. In first step, you have to identify the type of coordination complex, whether it is cationic, anionic or neutral. In the second step, you have to identify the counter ion. What is the name of that counter ion and what is the charge over it? In the third step, you have to identify the name of that particular ligand. What is the charge over that ligand and what is the dentacy of that ligand? And in the fourth step, you have to identify the metal and calculate the oxidation number of that metal. So let's start with the type of coordination complex and learn how to identify the type of coordination complex. In every chemical formula, positive ion is always written at the first place. So if the complex is anionic, then the counter ion must be written before the bracket. For example, in this molecule. Here potassium is the counter ion and it is written before the coordination sphere. That means this coordination complex is anionic complex. And if the coordination complex is cationic, then counter ion must be written after the coordination sphere. For example, in this complex, here counter ion is written after the coordination sphere. That means this coordination complex is cationic in nature. Now come to the ligands. Here there is a list of IUPAC name of some neutral ligands. For example, water. If water acts as a ligand, it is a monodented kind of ligand. And in case of water, oxygen is the donor atom. IUPAC name of water in complex is aqua. Similarly for ammonia. Ammonia is a monodented ligand. In ammonia, nitrogen is the donor atom and its IUPAC name is amine. Here there is a list of IUPAC name of negative ligands. When you observe the IUPAC name of negative ligand, you will observe IUPAC name of all the negative ligands ends with O. For example, if halide is the ligand, its IUPAC name will be halo. If cyanide is a ligand, its IUPAC name will be cyano. You just have to go through the IUPAC name of all the ligands. And here is the extended list of IUPAC name of negative ligands. And here there is a list of positive ligands. For the IUPAC name of positive ligand, there is no change in the name of the ligand. For example, hydrogenium ion when act as a ligand, its name will remain same as hydrogenium. For nitrosonium, name will remain nitrosonium for IUPAC also. For the IUPAC naming of coordination compound, you must remember the type of ligand, their charge, their donor atom, their dentacy and their IUPAC name. Here there are few rules for the IUPAC name of the ligands. For monodentic ligand, if there are two ligands, then di is used as a prefix. For three ligands, tri is used. For four, tetra. For five, penta. And for six, hexa is used as a prefix. For polydentic ligand, if there are two ligands, then bis is used as a prefix. For three, tris is used and for four, tetrakis is used as a prefix. If there are more than two ligands, then they named in alphabetic order. Now come to the oxidation number calculation of central metal ion. For the calculation, you have to use the formula oxidation number of metal plus charge on the ligand plus charge on the counter ion is equal to zero. Let's take an example. So there is copper is the central metal ion, ammonia is the ligand and sulfate is the counter ion. So we have to calculate the oxidation number of copper. Ammonia is a neutral ligand, so charge over ammonia is zero. Sulfate is the counter ion, charge over sulfate is minus two. So we will get the equation X plus zero multiplied by four because there are four ammonia ligands plus charge over sulfate is minus two is equal to zero. When you solve this equation, you will get X is equal to plus two. Means the oxidation number of copper is plus two. Oxidation number is always represented in the Roman letters inside the round brackets. For example, here we will write copper in bracket two in Roman letters. It represents the oxidation number of copper. So oxidation number by the definition is the charge left on the central metal ion. 
if all the ligands are removed along with their shared pair of electrons with a metal atom. Now come to the IUPAC nomenclature of cationic coordination complexes. As we have learned before, if the coordination complex is positively charged, counter ion is present after the coordination sphere. And as per the rule, name of positive ion is followed by the name of negative ion. That's why first we will name coordination entity. For the naming of coordination entity, there is a fixed format. First you have to write the name of ligand, then name of metal, followed by the oxidation number of metal in Roman letters in round bracket. Then we will write the name of counter ion. So for the naming of cationic coordination complexes, you have to follow this format of naming. Let's take an example. Here, cobalt is the central metal ion. Ammonia is the ligand and chloride is the counter ion. You have to calculate the oxidation number of cobalt. So let it x. Ammonia is the neutral ligand. So charge over ammonia is 0. And as there are 6 ammonia ligands, 0 multiply by 6. Here chloride is the counter ion. Charge over 1 chloride is minus 1. And as there are 3 chlorides, minus 1 is multiplied by 3. And as you know the rule of oxidation number, sum of all the oxidation number should be equal to 0. Now simplify this equation. So you will get x is equal to plus 3. Now we have calculated the oxidation number of cobalt. It is equal to plus 3. Now name this coordination compound. First identify the ligand. Ligand is ammonia. It is monodentate ligand and there are 6 ammonia ligands. IUPAC name of ammonia is amine and as there are 6, we will use prefix hexa. So the name of ligand will be hexaamine. Now the name of metal. Metal is cobalt. So we will write here cobalt. Then oxidation number of metal in Roman letters in round bracket. So here we will write 3 in Roman letters in round bracket. Then the name of counter ion. Here counter ion is chloride, so we will write chloride. Here you must remember one rule. Number of counter ion is not written in IUPAC nomenclature. That's why do not write tri in front of chloride. Just write chloride for the counter ion. So the name of this coordination complex will become hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. Now come to the next example. Here cobalt is the central metal ion. And there are two kinds of ligand. One is chloride, another one is ammonia. Chloride is the negative ligand. Ammonia is the neutral ligand. Now first of all calculate the oxidation number of cobalt. So let it x. Charge over one chloride ligand is minus 1. And as there are two chloride ligand, we will multiply it by 2. Plus. Charge over ammonia is 0. So we will write here 0 is equal to plus 1 as there is plus 1 charge over the complex ion. Now simplify this equation. So we will get x minus 2 is equal to plus 1. When we transfer minus 2 on the other side of the equation, we will get x is equal to plus 1 plus 2. When you solve it, you will get x is equal to plus 3. So the oxidation number of cobalt is plus 3. As there are two kinds of ligands, one is chloride, another one is ammonia. IUPAC name for chloride is chloro and IUPAC name of ammonia is amine. If there are two or more ligands, then we will name it in alphabetic order. So here first we will write amine, then we will write chloro. Chloride and ammonia, both are the monodentate ligand. As there are 4 ammonia ligands, we will use prefix tetra in front of amine. And as there are 2 chloride ligands, we will use prefix di in front of chloro. Now write the name of metal. It is cobalt. And after the name of metal, we have to write oxidation number in Roman letters. As this complex ion carry charge, we have to write ion at the last. Now come to the next example. Here copper is the central metal ion and water and ammonia are the ligands. 
and chloride is the counter ion. Now first of all calculate the oxidation number of copper and let it x. Water and ammonia both are the neutral ligands so they do not carry any charge. So here we have written 0 plus 0. Counter ion chloride has minus 1 charge and it is multiplied by 2 as there are 2 chloride ions. Sum of all the oxidation numbers should be equal to 0. When you solve this equation you will get x is equal to plus 2. So the oxidation number of copper is equal to plus 2. As there are two ligands, we have to name them in alphabetic order. So first of all, we are going to write amine. Then we will write aqua. Water and ammonia both are the monodentate ligand. There are five ammonia ligands. So we will use prefix penta in front of amine. And there are two water ligands. So we will use di in front of aqua. Then you have to write metal with its oxidation number. So here we will write copper 2. Then we have to write counter ion. So chloride is the counter ion. So we will write chloride. Here you must have observed. If chloride acts as a ligand, its name will be chloro. But when it acts as a counter ion, its name will be chloride. So the name of this coordination complex will be pentaamine diaqua copper 2 chloride. Now come to the next example. Here nickel is the central metal ion and ene is the short form of ethylene diamine. It is a bidentate neutral ligand. So first of all calculate the oxidation number of nickel. So let it x plus charge over ethylene diamine is 0. So here 0 is equal to plus 2 as the charge over complex ion is plus 2. So the oxidation number of nickel will be equal to plus 2. Now write the name of this complex ion. So first we will write ethylene diamine. As there are two ethylene diamine and it is a bidentate ligand. For bidentate ligand we can't use di. Instead of di you have to use bis. So here we will write bis in front of ethylene diamine. Then write the name of central metal ion along with its oxidation number in Roman letters. So here we will write nickel in bracket 2 in Roman letters, then ions. Now come to the IUPAC nomenclature of anionic coordination complexes. If the coordination complex is negatively charged, counter ion must be present before the coordination sphere. And as per the rule, first you have to write positive ion followed by the name of negative ion. That's why first you have to write the name of counter ion followed by the name of coordination entities. For the naming of coordination entity, first you have to write the name of ligand, then name of metal ion with suffix ATE. Then write the oxidation number of metal in Roman letters. So let's take an example. In this coordination complex, counter ion is present before the coordination sphere. That means this sphere carries negative charge. And this is anionic coordination complex. Here potassium is the counter ion. Iron is the central metal ion. Here cyanide is the ligand. It is monodentate negative ligand. So first of all calculate the oxidation number. Charge over potassium is plus 1. And as there are 4 potassium, you have to multiply it by 4. Then oxidation of iron, let it x. Charge over cyanide is minus 1. And there are 6 cyanide ligands, so we have to multiply it by 6. And as we have learned before, sum of all the charges should be equal to 0. So here you will get the equation. Plus 1 multiplied by 4 plus x plus minus 1 multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. Now solve this equation. So here you will get x is equal to plus 2. The oxidation number of iron is plus 2. Now name this molecule. First of all, name the counter ion. And remember, the number of counter ion is not written in IUPAC nomenclature. So here you just have to write potassium. Then write the name of ligand. For cyanide ligand, IUPAC name is cyano. So here you will write cyano. And as there are six cyanide, we will use the prefix hexa. That's why I have written here hexa cyano. Now write the name of metal with prefix ATE. So here you have to write ferrate. 
then write the oxidation number in roman letters so the name of this molecule will become potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 here there is a list of some metal ion in anionic complexes for example for aluminium if it is used in anionic complex you have to use aluminate for chromium you have to use chromate you just have to go through the list of metal ions used in the anionic complexes for example as we just have used ferrate for iron now come to the iupac nomenclature of coordination compounds having bridging ligands for example in this coordination complex nh2 and no2 they both are the ligands but they both are present between two cobalt metal ions in the naming of bridging ligand Greek letter mu is used before the name of ligand. Let's try to name this molecule. First of all, calculate the oxidation number of both cobalt metal ions. Here, ammonia is the monodentate neutral ligand. So, it doesn't carry any charge. So, charge over ammonia is 0. For cobalt, we can take it X. NH2 has minus 1 charge. And NO2 also has minus 1 charge. Here again ammonia and cobalt. So we can take the oxidation number of cobalt as X. Charge over ammonia is 0. NO3 nitrate ion act as a counter ion here. And charge over nitrate is minus 1. So we will get the equation 0 for ammonia, X for cobalt, minus 1 for NH2, minus 1 for NO2, plus x for cobalt plus 0 for ammonia plus minus 1 for nitrate multiply by 4 as there are 4 nitrate ions is equal to 0 as the whole molecule doesn't carry any charge. So the sum of all the numbers should be equal to 0. When we simplify this equation we will get 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. When you solve this equation, you will get x is equal to 6 by 2 is equal to 3. So the oxidation number of both the cobalts is plus 3. Now name this molecule. For this part, naming will be the same as we have learned before. So the name of this part will be tetraamine cobalt. So we can write here tetraamine cobalt 3. For this part also, name will be the same tetraamine cobalt 3. Now come to the name of bridging ligand. For NH2, IUPAC name is amido and for NO2, IUPAC name is nitro. As they both act as a bridging ligand, we have to use prefix mu before the name of these ligand. So here we will write mu amido mu nitro. Here mu signifies that both the ligands act as a bridging ligand between both the metal ions. Now come to the counter ion. Here counter ion is nitrate. So here we will write nitrate. So the name of this whole molecule will be tetraamine cobalt 3 mu amido mu nitro tetraamine cobalt 3 nitrate. In the next video of coordination complex, we are going to discuss isomerism in coordination compounds.